Recently, I addressed a bunch of women entrepreneurs in a forum. The one thing that was common, constant among all of them was, I hate selling. In spite of it being crucial to the economy, crucial to your business, selling receives a lot of flack. It could be because uh, you have a bad experience with a telecalling person or someone tried to force sell their uh, product to you. It also could be that you heard someone else repeat this over and over again. No matter what your reason is, selling is an important skill to have to survive and thrive in any profession. So in this video, I will be sharing with you a few tips on mastering the art of selling. Let's get started. Once upon a time, if you had a passion for baking, you could open a bakery store. People will come flocking to you because you make everything so delicious and your products get sold as hotcakes. And that's that. You're in business. Today though, you need to do a lot more than that. You need to create a brand, show it off on social media, create strategy around when and where to market it. If you're a business owner, you have no choice because your business depended on it. Even if you're an employee, you have to sell your achievements to your bosses so that you can get appreciated and considered for promotion during appraisals. So you see, we are all selling and we are always selling. Everyone lives by selling something, said Robert Louis Stevenson. But if you still have issues with it, here's what you can do. Number one, believe in your product or service. Your belief in what you want to sell is super important. And if you don't believe it, it shows. Don't insult people by thinking you can fool them into it. You need to be 100% convinced about what you're trying to sell. In fact, you need to be willing to buy that product yourself. So if you're having trouble selling, the question you need to ask is, do I genuinely believe in this? Work on that if your answer is no. Two, work on your mindset. If you're averse with the word selling, then you can use another phrase such as product communication or advertising, whatever works for you. The truth is your product or service is addressing the need or pain in the world. You are contributing to the betterment of the world. So creating mindsets such as this can help you overcome the feelings of negativity associated with selling. Three, make friends with research. Research is considered to be one of the most important sales skills. You need to be very clear on who your customers are, what is their problem, and how your product is solving that problem. Research will help you work with relevant and accurate information about your prospects. So you're coming in as someone who's trying to help and not really someone who's trying to sell. Four, listen actively to your customers or clients. Here's a perfect quote to explain this. Successful salespeople don't try to convince customers that their product or service is right for them. Instead, they begin by listening and finding out if the potential customer is a good fit before leaping for sale. Building long-term relationships with your customers or clients involves having productive conversations and practicing active listening. Number five, learn how to negotiate. Negotiation is yet another important sales skill. Because every conversation that you have in your professional life is a negotiation. In fact, if you think of it, we also negotiate even in our personal lives. We're constantly negotiating with our spouses and kids, aren't we? Negotiation skills helps you and the other person come to a common agreement and understand the benefits for both of you. So learn how to negotiate well. Six, work on your resilience. Because not everyone that you meet and discuss is going to be buying your product. Then this holds true even with your friends. Not every friend of yours is going to believe in your product or service. So it's imperative that you will be rejected. You will face failures. Resilience and grit will help you overcome these feelings and let you bounce back. I've already spoken on how you can strengthen your resilience in another video and I will provide a link to it in the description below. Seven, become self-motivated. Yes, I know it's easier said than done. And it's difficult to stay motivated when you're getting repeated rejections. But the fact is that only self-motivation can drive you forward. I've already spoken on how you can keep yourself motivated all the time. And I'll also provide a link to that video in the description below. So there you are. Those are the seven tips I have for you to master the art of selling. If you still have problem with it though, I suggest you enroll in our new e-course, which can help you go to market. What do you think of this? What do you think of the tips and how you can use them to put your business back on track? Do let me know in the comment section below or you may reach out to me in any of the social media platforms that I'm in. 
Thank you so much for watching. If you love this video, if you find it resourceful, do hit a like button and share it with your friends. And I'll see you next week. Until then, take good care of yourself. Bye.